So this is my Gateway E1000 that I fixed up about a year back. So far it's had many, many operating systems from FreeBSD to Windows 98 on it. I even installed Tiny Core Linux on it one time. So now it is time to install a modern Linux distribution, or at least Debian Jesse, which is the old stable and has LTS support until April 2020, which is a few months longer than Windows 7. So I guess that counts as modern. This 200 megahertz beast, having more M's than any other processor, will run Debian 8, but not 9 due to the drop of older 586 processors. On the Debian website, there's actually a little list of the processors that, um, well, aren't supported in Stretch. Unfortunately, um, Debian 8 dropped the support of the older S3 um, Zorg driver, which means the integrated graphics uh, doesn't work and has to use the VESA drivers. So it will show a picture, but it's a little bit neutered at 800 by 600 resolution, and that no one should have to live with, even in 1996 when this model was new. And, well, I guess in summary though, the installation did take a acceptable amount of time. It was only like a few hours, so that wasn't too bad. So, after trying to um, remedy the situation through the package manager, I kind of um, decided I was going to try to compile the Zorg driver myself, and that was kind of an ar arduous process, and I I'm not too familiar with it, and I was kind of at a point I wasn't sure what I was doing, and then I remembered I had some 90s MGA cards, and there was an MGA driver, so I just decided to say, you know, screw this, and put in the MGA card, and the MGA PCI card supported 1152 by 864, which was close enough to the original monitor's resolution of 1280x1024 that I figured it was good enough and I was going to call it a day. So, what can you do with a Pentium running a modern Linux distribution? Well, you can do a lot of things. Some of the stuff even practical including running a server, some other stuff, servers, um, I guess once you include power costs that might not be in the practical realm anymore, but rather than that it seems to run fine with Dillo uh, if you want to browse the web. I, I tried DWB but it crashed on startup. I'm sure there's some fix out there for it, but um, I Decided to just go with that. I also gave W3M a shot, but it's a little bit too, uh, I guess, console-based. I, I haven't, I'm not too familiar with this and didn't really want to learn something for this. So, I learned something new, I guess. Maybe I should learn how to use W3M. I might be wrong there. But after getting some advice, I installed Fluxbox, which uh, is pretty lightweight. And that was the Windows Manager. I kind of used for it. So I uh, hooked it up to my ThinkPad and used the university Wi-Fi. Even though I think although with a little bit of work I could probably get it connect to the university network. So um, after that um, I guess uh, I once I got 4chan loading as my you know network test uh, I decided to install NeoFetch and Dillo actually works well enough that you can look up how to uh, install something on Dillo and you know go to GitHub pages and it doesn't support JavaScript so you can't use the catalog mode and 4chan but um, I did eventually figure out how to install NeoFetch on Debian Jesse which uh, wasn't too hard but unlike in Debian Stretch the latest version uh, has uh, NeoFetch as a package, so it's just sudo apt-get install NeoFetch. So, a little bit difficult, but not really. I mean, took took an extra five minutes, probably. Overall, uh, it runs Debian a bit slow, uh, but acceptable. 
it ran better with Tiny Core Linux, but that is, um, it uses a RAM drive, and I imagine it's uh, a little bit, as the kernel, a little bit more suited to this hardware. I, I don't know, um, someone was saying that if I, uh, did a custom kernel, I could probably get the same performance out of Debian, but looking into that, um, there's also something called Debian Dog, which is an implementation of Puppy Linux, which does use the RAM drive sort of feature, but I'm not too familiar with that stuff at the moment. Maybe like in a later video I'd screw around with that. But uh, I guess um, overall that's the Pentium MMX. So um, Debian runs fine on it. Um, it runs better with Tiny Core if you're actually using it as a uh, normal desktop, but if you're just using it as uh, like a headless box, uh, I'd, I'd say go with Debian. It's a little bit better supported, even though it's the old stable. So, yeah, Debian dropped um, 586. Anyways, uh, I guess that's the end of the video. Um, have a good one, and, uh, yeah. Oh, cool, that actually works. I wonder if that's bad for the disk drive.